Hey guys, so I just jumped 12 positions in one day by using Schema Rider. So you can see here the September the 9th, that was yesterday, I was at position 14, and today, this morning, I am at position 6. And that is for the keyword AI Schema Generator. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. My name is Jesper Nissen, and I've been doing SEO since 2008. I'm the owner and founder of Yaks, the leading platform to build cloud links. I'm also the owner and founder of Schema Rider, the leading platform to produce schema. Yesterday, I changed the homepage of Schema Rider website because I wanted to focus more on trying to rank for schema markup generator. So schema markup generator will, will be the, the long-term goal for my website to rank for. I ran a report inside of Schema Rider. I'm going to show you how I did that. Then I implemented the on-page optimization changes that the schema writer suggested, inserted the entities, and then inserted the schema. And this is the result that uh, we jumped 12 positions from position 14 to position 6 today. So if we go over to Firefox and search for AI schema generator, so you can see that uh, I am searching from Denmark, so I'm number 3 here for AI schema generator. And if we search for AI schema schema markup generator, we are at position four also, I'm searching from Denmark. Jumps like these from 14 to six in one day is normally not possible with link building if you have a normal budget, uh, but it is possible with on page SEO. Let me show you exactly my process. So what I did was I click generate new inside of schema writer search for schema markup generator and then I select schema writer the company of course and the home page as the target URL and I don't do anything else I just click generate so I don't set a location because I don't have a specific geographical location that I want to rank for so I'm just saying that google.com is my search engine and in this case it will take a uh, an American IP address to search for. So so this will be the American data center. So that's what I did. So I ran this report. And uh, while this is running, we can check up uh, the report from yesterday. So inside of Schema Writer, the report looks like this. And I didn't do anything because all of this schema code is generated automatically by Schema Writer. So you can see here we have the organization schema starts out like this type is equal to online business. Then we have the local business schema and uh, we see down here, so the local business schema. I have chosen to include local business schema, although that of course schema writer is not a local business per se. We do have a physical address and I just want to give, I want to give uh, Google as much as much information about us as possible. So that's why I've chosen to include local business schema, although that you could say that's, that's not strictly necessary. So another thing that I, I like about local business schema is I get to, to include these notes about. So these are all the entities. So that's all the things that we know about here in Schema Router. So backlinks, search engine optimization, WordPress website, and so on and so forth. So that's something that uh, I inserted into the local business schema. Web page schema, I have also chosen to include that. Let's just disable these guys so you can see what that looks like. Web page. And then we have this author, creator, publisher, and provider. That's all also, also generated by Schema Rod. I didn't do anything here. So the keywords are also auto generated. So all these keywords are generated uh, by Schema Rider going in, analyzing the content of the home page. So Schema Rider went in, scraped all this information here. So that's a lot of text that we wrote. And then it analyzed the content. And then it analyzed the content and then it produced these ranking keywords. So keywords like this are keywords that kind of describes what it is. That's the, that's the general idea of what's the topics that uh, we, we actually cover in this web page. And then the interesting thing is the about and the mention keywords that according to the definition from schema.org so the about are the are the keywords that this page is about so what's the what's the main topics and mentions are also 
things that uh, this web page is about. Specifically, it's entities or things that is mentioned in the text. You actually get to give references to where you can actually read more about these guys here. So for example, Google Knowledge Graph. So if we open web page schema here, dude, scroll down, go to about, dude, and open this guy here, dude. So you can see here that Schema Writer identified that Google Knowledge Graph has this Wikipedia URL, and Google Knowledge Graph has this uh, so-called KGMID, or Knowledge Graph Machine Readable ID. So this Knowledge Graph Machine Readable ID contains the specific information that Google knows about this topic. Let's just see what it looks like. Doot. So you can see here that uh, we have Google Knowledge Graph, and then we get this AI overview for this keyword, and we get this reference here, Google Knowledge Graph, Knowledge Graph Google Wikipedia. So this is what it looks like. And this is, this is, what, this is what makes this type of schema strong, is that you get the entity that has this Wikipedia page, and you also insert the references, the official references to the pages that contains uh, information, the canonical information about what this is about. When I'm talking about canonical, canonical information is I'm talking about the information that Google sees to be true or truth. That's what I mean when I talk about canonical information. Uh, same with Wikidata and uh, all of these guys. So I didn't do anything here. Uh, all of this was found automatically by Schema Writer, so it scraped the top 10 competition sites and identified all of these entities and used machine learning and AI in order to sort and place these guys in for me. So I didn't do anything here. If a Q schema is also something that we use, so you can see here that we have the questions, what is schema markup, and then the answer, it is a form of microdata, and so on and so forth. So all these questions are auto-generated and they actually serve a special purpose because at first when I ran the report, these questions that you have just seen here, uh, they were not in the text of Schema Writer. But the way that it works in Schema Writer is that Schema Writer performs the analysis of the text. It knows what the entities that the competition has, it knows the entities that you have, and then it compares and finds the entity gap, the entity gap. So that's the entities that you miss. And in order to cover that gap, you can actually see it here. So these are the on-page entities that uh, I have in my website, and these are the competition entities. And the entities gap are the entities that I don't have, that the competition has, right? So in order to cover that gap, what Schema Router does is, if I click on content here, I can actually see that down here, we can actually see that all of this is auto-generated content. So that's not something that I wrote. That's something that Schema Writer wrote because we have built into the algorithm that we want to cover as many entities as possible. If I go up here, so you can see here in the right side all of, the, all of these green and yellow and red buttons here, they signify entities. So this keyword schema.org, it has a Wikipedia page. That's what I mean by an entity. Same thing with schema and JSON-LD. What Schema Writer did for me was to write this text here. And what the only thing I did was I clicked Upload FAQ to WordPress. And then the content was automatically updated because I, I have the WordPress integration set up for my Schema Writer AI website. So I just click this guy here, doot, and then it's uploaded. And uh, same thing with the, the schema. I just clicked Upload Schema to WordPress, doot, and then it's uploaded. What I did was I opened my Schema Writer website. I clicked Edit with Elementor because that's what I use here in my Schema Writer website. And then I inserted the missing entities. So I chose not application programming interface. It is relevant, but I, it's not something that I'm willing to mention in my own website, but I am willing to mention all of these other guys. So you can actually see that, uh, let me just search for schema.org. It is somewhere here. Hold on. Yeah, it's of course the first one and, and I missed it. So uh, I inserted all of the entities here. For example, before I started optimizing, my header said AI schema markup generator to automate web page schema. So I didn't include JSON-LD, but 
schema can be it doesn't schema can mean mean more than one thing. It's like a box or boxing can mean you know two people fighting, or it can also mean that you are you're packing your apartment because you have to move. So you're you're kind of like boxing everything together in in boxes. Uh, same thing with schema. It can mean structured data in a website, or it can mean that you're scheming against your enemies, or, or you have a schema for the entire week, a school schema. So it can mean several several things. So that's why I chose to include JSON-LD in order to disambiguate for Google. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about schema. It's JSON-LD schema. I also chose to include schema.org. Let me actually just click refresh page analyze, and then you might be able to see just just see here. So when I click this guy refresh page analyze, what it does is it goes over to schemawriter.ai. It fetches and uh, scrapes the uh, content and reanalyzes it in order to check what I just updated. Uh, you can see this comma here. That's actually specifically what I'm looking at. Good. Because I just updated the text on the home page this morning because I discovered that I was missing some content here. So I decided to also include schema.org here in this in this line here. So what I notice is when I'm optimizing text with schema router is that the more entities I can include in headers and subheaders, the higher chance it stands of ranking because it disambiguates the content in for in, in the eyes of Google. So Google will be more able to understand what it is that you're talking about. So you could say, well, why didn't you include schema.org in the H1? I don't want it to, I want, I want Google to be able to understand, but I don't want to spam Google. So I think that AI schema markup generator to automate JSON LD web page schema. It is, I'm, I'm not, I'm not super fond of JSON LD, but it does disambiguate it for Google. I, I do spell it out for Google that this is what we're talking about. So that's why I tolerate it. And also because it's an entity. But if I also chose to include schema.org up here, like this, it would be it would be simply it would be too much. You want to do on-page SEO, but you don't want to overdo it. That was the process of my on-page SEO optimization with Schema Writer. So running the report, inserting the missing entities, inserting the the automated generate automatically generated FAQ content uploading the FAQ or inserting it manually and uploading schema also. And uh, that caused uh, this, uh, this ranking increase uh, improvement that I just showed you. That was uh, it from uh, today's video, guys. I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one.